Hi everyone, Team Scorpio here. Today we are doing a Starfield ship video for a ship I call the Vengeance. This is what I would classify as a destroyer class ship. It has plenty of firepower to take down even the toughest ships and a respectable 84 maneuverability, which is decent for a ship this size. Plenty of storage and the best part, no ladders. Now this is a later game class C ship. You'll need your piloting at rank four and be at least level 75 to unlock most of the ship parts for building. With that in mind, let's get to the build. We're starting off at New Atlantis. The reason is we need a ship to modify, as you cannot just start from scratch. If you have a spare ship to build off of, you can skip this step. Talk to the ship services technician and see what he has for sale. We're gonna go and pick up the Rambler. It's a low value ship that actually has a couple parts that we need. Grab that and let's head to our next destination. We're gonna open up our map we're gonna pan all the way out to our solar system and we're gonna head over to the soul system. Now in here, we are looking for Titan over by Saturn and we're gonna land over on new homestead. Once we're on the ground, go and talk to the ship technician. View and modify your ships. And we're going to need a couple parts from here. I will put the parts list on screen so you can pause the video here and do your shopping. Okay, let's look at what you're buying. You need one top docking bay, two Amon 7 engines. Now you notice I only purchased one engine. That's because the Rambler, which we got at New Atlantis, already comes with one. You're also gonna need two Nova weapon mounts and the Cabot C4 bridge. So the next thing we're gonna do is start fitting the parts to our ship. Remove any unnecessary parts and start fitting the pieces. At this point, the ship just needs to be flyable. It doesn't need to be pretty. So you may not be able to get all the parts to fit on your ship by default. That's okay. What we can do is buy some temporary parts to make these other parts fit. It's okay if you got buy some temporary parts, we're gonna get the credits back later when we delete the part. I'm gonna click on that back tab and I'm gonna pick up a couple Nova bracers. They're inexpensive and easy to fit parts too. I'm gonna attach my engine and my Nova weapon mount to that. All right, there we go. Now we see we have no errors on the bottom right. Warnings are okay to have. We can finish up here and head to our next destination. So now let's head over to our next system. We're gonna pull out to our solar systems and we're gonna head over to Vol 2. Inside that system, we're gonna look for Vol 2 Alpha, and we're gonna land in Neon. Once we're in Neon, we wanna head over to the Stroud Eklund showroom. It's just past the Outfitters here on the left. We take a turn and we go on inside. Once we're inside, we're gonna head over to the showroom, go left and uh, interact with the panel on the wall, and we're gonna choose to view and modify our ships. Now in here, we're only gonna need a couple pieces. So this is gonna be a quick trip. 
the most important piece we are going to need is our landing bay. And we're gonna head over to base and it's the only one available, the Stability Pro landing bay. That is going to be very important for this build. The other thing we're gonna need under structural is the Horizon weapon mount. I'm just gonna buy one because we have a second one on the Rambler. I'm gonna take off those weapons and pull that weapon mount off our ship so we know it's there. So there we go. We have our two weapon mounts and our landing bay. Now we need to attach these to our ship. So the first thing we're gonna do is clear out some unnecessary stuff. I'm gonna delete the other landing bay as we cannot have two, and I'm gonna move the landing gear to the back of the ship. I'm gonna remove that shield generator. We don't need it. And we have to attach the landing bay to the cockpit. We're gonna do that by grabbing a shroud storeroom one by one, and we're gonna flip it so the hook point is pointing towards us, and then we just attach that landing bay to the ship. There we go. Once it's attached, I'm going to take the weapon mounts, put them anywhere on the ship, and now all the parts are attached. We have no errors. Again, the ship does not have to be pretty. It just has to be flyable. Once we're done, we're gonna clear out of here, and we're gonna head to our next destination. The last place we need to go is actually right down the street. We're gonna look for a red wall that signifies Ryujin Industries. A lot of players don't realize that there's a ship manufacturer in there as well. So we're gonna head down the street and we're gonna head over to Ryujin. We're gonna head into this elevator at the end and we're gonna pick the second floor for Tayo Astroneering. Now, Tayo has some of the most interesting hab modules in the game, and we're going to do the bulk of our shopping here. Get off the elevator, take a right, and then another right to the showroom, and we're going to talk to Veronica. We're going to view and modify our ships, and let's finish building our ship. As I said, we're gonna do the bulk of our shopping here. So be ready to spend some credits. I'll put a complete part list on screen. So pause the video if you wanna shop at your own pace. Okay, that's all the shopping we need to do. If you want to copy my layout, I will leave it on screen here so you can match the pieces and make sure you have everything. So, to quickly review, we have two slope caps, four spine bees, ten side caps, four mid cap bees, four end caps, one mid control station, one two by one mid captain's quarters, one 2x2 two two mid battle station, 1 2x1 mid all-in-one berth, 
one two by one mid workstation, one two by one mid living quarters, one two by one mid computer core, one two by one bottom B armory, two one by one storerooms. We have nine pinpoint 4G landing gears, one pinch 8Z reactor, one 900T HE tank, one J52 gamma drive, one 28T defender shield generator, five galleon S202 cargo holds, and four Sal 6330 engines. Got all that? Good. Now let's pull all the pieces we purchased from the other shipyards off. So grab those Nova weapon mounts, the two Amon 7 engines, the NG2 docker top, the Stability Pro landing bay, and our Cabot C4 bridge. And let's not forget our weapon mounts. Now that we have those off, everything else you can delete. And as we delete these pieces, we're going to get some credits back. Okay, now that we have all our parts laid out, I'll leave this layout on the screen so you can triple check just to make sure you have all the parts you need. All right, let's build our ship. We're gonna start with the bridge and landing bay. We need to connect the landing bay to the bridge. Now this bridge we got is the reason we can make this with no ladders. As you can see, there are two levels. We need to connect our landing bay to this at the lower level. So how we're gonna do that is with our armory. So let's bring our armory over. And if we rotate the camera here, we can see that the armory at the end has the same symbol as on our bridge. This means it's compatible, a compatible hook point. We're gonna take our armory and attach it to our bridge right there in the middle. It's green, it lights up, that's good. Next, we're going to grab our landing bay. So let's find our landing bay and slide that over. We're gonna spin and zoom in here a little bit. We can see the symbol on the landing bay is a rectangle and we see the arrow pointing in and we see on our hab, we have the rectangle on the sides. So we can connect it to the side here like this. Now, as the ship's landed, we're gonna come right into the landing bay directly to the armory go into the cockpit and go up to the stairs to the upper level. No ladders needed. Now that we have that built, let's build our main level. We're gonna start with a two by two mid battle station. We're gonna connect that right directly to the cockpit. We're gonna grab our control station and connect that right next to our battle stations. Next, we're going to grab our captain's quarters and we're gonna put that right behind the control station. Next, we are going to grab our living quarters and put that right next to the captain's quarters at the same level. Next, we're going to grab our all-in-one and put that right next to the living station. We're gonna grab our computer core and put that behind the all-in-one. Then we're going to grab our workshop and put that behind the captain's quarters. So this is going to be our basic layout. Now you don't have to follow this layout exactly. It is up to you what habs you want. This is just the habs I like. 
as long as you follow the basic design, you can make these any way you want. So the design is gonna be three rows, three rows, and then a hab, a space, and a hab. If you wanna do all two by ones, that's fine, you can do that, or you can customize it however you want. This is just the layout I like. Next, we're gonna build our drive section. So let's grab our grav drive. Let's grab our tank and let's grab our reactor. Now, generally it doesn't matter what order these go in. The only thing that matters is our reactor is going to be at the end of the chain. And these are gonna fit right in between the two single halves at the end. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my tank and I'm going to fit it right in between and I'm going to put it in my grav drive next and the reactor at the end. The reactor needs to be at the end. As you can see, there's no hook points at the end of the, of the reactor. And you want to mount it so the tops are flush with the tops of the halves and they're going to stick out a little bit down below there. That's the fit we want. Next, let's grab some engines. We're gonna take our engines and put one on either side of that reactor. And again, the tops are gonna to be flush with the top of the halves, layering down below. Now we have four other engines that we need to mount on. How are we gonna fit those? Well, we're gonna use our storerooms. So let's slide our storerooms over. And this is what we're gonna to use to fit the rest of our engines. I'm gonna put one on one side, one on the other. Now where these attach, you can attach them directly to the back so that the engines are matched up with each other. That's entirely up to you. I don't like that. I like to slide mine a little bit further, giving this, the back silhouette, a little bit of a curve. So again, we're gonna attach it and we're gonna make sure the engines are mounted and this time we're going to move them up so that the bottom is level with the bottom of that hab. Reason being is we want that top hook point exposed on that engine. We're gonna need that for later. Now how we're gonna attach the last two engines is we're gonna use the hook points on our landing gears. So we're gonna drop the camera down a little bit. We're gonna take a landing gear and we're gonna slide it right underneath that hab. There we go. It fits right in there. We're gonna take a second one and slide it into that other hab. Sometimes you have to rotate the camera and just make sure it slides right in. And now we have two more hook points below the other engines. We're gonna take our Amon 7 engines and mount those towards right below our cells. Now these engines, they don't add a lot. They add a little bit of maneuverability, but it's more on a cosmetic. So there we go. We have our drive section and our engines attached. The next part we're gonna work on is underneath the ship. So what I'm gonna do is kind of rotate this camera so that we can look underneath. And there we go. We can see underneath, we got plenty of empty space except for our landing bay. Now, the first thing we wanna start fitting underneath here is going to be our landing gears. And our landing gears are going to go, starting at the front, we're gonna go every other space below our ship. So let's take a landing bay. Let's slide it up to the front there. And we're gonna start right behind the bridge. We're gonna skip a space. We're gonna put another landing gear. Then we're gonna skip a space. And then we're gonna put the last landing gear. That last landing gear should line up with the landing gear on the wings if you've set it up the way I like it designed. Now we're gonna do the same with the other side. Again, start at the front. Then we're going to skip space, grab another landing gear. 
we're then gonna skip grab another landing gear and skip a space and again lining this up with that last landing gear in a row so we have four in a row skip a space two skip a space two that's how our landing gears are going to be set up now we have one more landing gear this is going to go in the middle of the ship right behind our fuel tank so this is how the bottom of our ship is laid out. As you can see, we have our landing gear and we have some empty spaces. Now those empty spaces are gonna be taken up by our cargo holds. So let's grab our cargo hold and we're gonna flip it. So the curve is facing downward. And these are gonna slide in the empty spaces we have left underneath the ship. So there should be five empty spaces. So on one side, we have two, because remember, we have the landing bay. So one right behind the engines. And another one midship. Now we got three more. We're going to flip this one. So it's the opposite. I'm going to start right behind the engines. Slide that one in. Take another one. Flip it. fill in the space and same with the last one you're going to take this one flip it and then fit it into that last space so you can see most of our empty space is filled up so you see we have all our landing gears there should be five cargo holds and we have our landing bay taking up that last space in there now we have one empty space in there and this is where our shield is going to go and how we're going to do this is we're going to hide the shield behind a piece so let's bring our shield over and we're going to grab one of the tayo spine bees now we're going to glitch the shield in there. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to grab our spine B and we're going to slide it right into the empty space. This can be tricky with some camera angles, but take your spine B and just slide it right into that empty space. There we go. Now I'm going to change the camera angle so we can see underneath. Now we're going to glitch our shield generator in there so we're going to take our shield generator and we're going to attach it to that hook point right on the landing gear you see we have a hook point available so we're going to slide it over to there we see it attached but it's red that means it's not supposed to attach there but we can glitch it by holding our left mouse button i'm going to hit the z key to flip it so we flip it and then we flip it again and then release our mouse button and then hit escape. If we do it right, we should see the shield generator fit right in there without having a free open spot. You can only do this with flippable pieces. It's a neat little trick to make the ship, give the ship some extra flair, maybe blend pieces with another. Now that the bottom is done, let's work on our top. First thing we're gonna do is gonna take a slope cap and we're gonna put that right on the front, right by the habs. Next, we're gonna take our docker top and that's gonna go by our fuel tank right in front of it. Next, take your other slope cap and that's gonna go behind the docker and we're gonna flip it so we have our slope. This gives that ship that distinctive slope look that we saw. Next thing, we're gonna to need to fill in some space at the top, so we're gonna take our mid caps, and we're just gonna stick those to either side of the dockers. So let's grab two and put two on one side, and we're gonna flip the other ones. You may need to flip these a couple times and put these on the other side. So flip them and lock that in. Next, we're gonna fill in that empty space. We're gonna take one of our spines and just drop it in it 
by the docker to fill in some empty space. Now the top of our ship's done. So now let's start building our weapon mounts and building out our wings. First thing we're gonna do is gonna grab our last spines and put those right on the engine mounts. So we're gonna take our spines and make sure those are attached above our habs right by the engine mounts. Next, take your weapon mounts, attach those to the spine. This gives the whole thing kind of almost like an antenna type look. So we have our engine, our spine, and our mount right there on the wing facing out. Next thing we need to mount on there is we're gonna grab our end caps. We're gonna slide those over and those are gonna go right below to the front of those. So we're gonna put two on one side. And we're gonna grab two, flip them to the other side. So now our wing construction is mostly built. The last thing we need to do is put in our side caps. Our side caps are just gonna go on the sides of the ship and below our wing mounts on those free spaces. This just cleans up the look of the ship a lot. It takes some of these hard edges and just rounds them out rather nicely. So we fit three on the side in a row, right on the halves. And we're gonna put two on our wings. And these really look nice on the wings because the design actually complements those end mounts. So it gives it a nice line all together. Now we've done one side, we're gonna take the other five and flip them to the other side. So we'll just flip them and repeat the process on the other side. So there we go, our ship is nearly complete. The last thing we're gonna to need to do is take our weapon mounts and put them onto the ship. Now these weapon mounts, they can go wherever you really want. I like to put them on the front landing gears of the ship. This way we have some forward mounted weapons along with the weapons on the side. So just, if you want to follow mine, take them and put them on the front landing gear, but realistically, they can go anywhere you have a free hook point. As for what weapons to put on, this is entirely up to you and what you feel is best. The only restriction is you need to have different weapons in each of the three slots. And the weapons cannot use more than 12 max power in any slot. So, for example, I personally go with the PBO-175 Auto Helion Beam Cannon as my primary weapon. They have decent damage and a max power 3, so I can run 4 of them. On my second, I could go with 4 PB-175 Helion Beams. They are actually different than the PBOs, so they will count as a second weapon. They have a slower rate of fire than the PBOs, but pack a much bigger punch. So that's how you can kind of mix and match weapons. But for this build, I'm gonna go with the PBO-175 as my main weapon, and I'm gonna use four of them. Since they have a max power three, I can use up to four in one slot. Now, if you have completed the Vanguard quest line where you infiltrate the key and side with the UC, you will have access to the Vanguard weapons, which offer some interesting options. 
My pick for the second weapons are going to be the Vanguard Obliterators. These are similar to the PBOs in damage, but they have a max power of two each. This means I can stock six of these bad boys on a ship. These in combination with my PBO main weapon will make short work of any ship you come across. So I'm gonna grab six of these. Now let me show you how I place my weapons. I take my main weapons, whatever's gonna be the main ones, and I'm gonna put them on the inside of our weapon mounts. So you see, if you place it just right, it puts it in there. Now, you notice the camera's a little weird here. It's because I, when I bought the weapons, I was on a high layer. So I'm gonna take all these weapons, I'm gonna highlight them all, and then I'm gonna use my F key to move them down to get them back on a normal layer. This way I'm not using R and F to move this, the weapons up and down constantly. So let's take our second weapon and let's slide it down slightly so it fits right in. So you see the two are right next to each other on the inside of our weapon mounts. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So let's slide those two just in. Sometimes you have to finagle it in there, but they will fit. Now my second weapons, I'm gonna put those on our weapon mounts towards the front of the ship. So again, we're just going to slide the two of them. So we have two on one side on the weapon mounts. And I'm gonna take two more and put them on the other side. And again, I'm just sliding them down so that they attach. And I'll take a second one and slide it down. Now they've got those four attached. Because I had six, I've got two extra weapons. I'm gonna add those to our weapon mounts to the outside. So I'm gonna slide one on the outside, on one side, and then I'm gonna slide the other on the other side. Again, sometimes you have to kind of play with the camera angle to make sure that it mounts correctly. I had a little trouble with this one. So I'm just gonna rotate. So I can kind of line it up a little bit and it locks right in. So there we go. I've got my two main weapons and I've got my six secondary. Now I'm only running two weapon sets on this. Uh, I only run two weapon sets. I don't see a need for three. Running just two of them lets me keep everything at full power. So I'm not sacrificing any damage. You can add some missile launchers or an EM weapon to disable ships, but that's entirely up to you. So last thing we need to do is do our weapon assignments. What I like to do is again, my PBOs are going to be on W0, which is the main left trigger. That's going to be my auto helium beams. And my obliterators are gonna be on W1, which is the right mouse button. W2 is left up on the sign as I'm not using a third weapon option. Once the weapons are assigned, we can rename our ship. You can name it anything you want. I named mine Vengeance 2. I already had a Vengeance build on this playthrough. So this one's Vengeance 2. Now once done, we can customize the color. Sort of, let me explain. To customize the color of your whole ship at once, double click on any piece to highlight your whole ship. Then hit J and it's gonna open up the color menu. Now you see, I'm gonna try to change the color of my ship, changing it over to red. You notice all the pieces are changing except for those slope halves. The slope halves don't change color everywhere. So, I mean, you can work this in uh, if you want to, what I usually like to do though, is I like to match the ship to the Habs. So I'm just going to take some grays 
and I'm going to play with the sliders till they kind of match or blend in well enough so that I am happy with the color. I'm going to do this for all three colors, color one, color two, color three, till I get something that I like. Now this is your ship. If you want to do some different color schemes, that's completely up to you. Go wild. Just know that those slopes will always be that gray. And there we go. We are finished. So now that our ship is finished, I think it's time to take a tour of our new home. So let's go out to the neon landing pad and take a look at our ship. And here we are outside neon. We're coming out to our ship and we can see our ship sitting there. I love the profile of this ship. It is low, it is wide, it is smooth, it looks mean. So, and we can see it is a big ship. So, we have our docking bay here on the side. We have both stairs and ramp. Always nice to be handicap accessible. We're going to go right in, no ladders, right into the door here. And here we are, we are in the armory. Now, the one thing I like about the armory here is not only do we have some weapon slots, some weapon crates, but we also have a little bed here. So we have a security door. Uh, I assume this is some sort of brig, but we can use it if we want a quick rest at a place because we can come right in here and sleep. So it's nice, you don't have to go all the way up to your um, captain's quarters, but you can. Now there is a ladder here, it's not used. We just go right in here through the cockpit. We see we have stairs on either side. There's Sarah hanging up trying to steal from our inventory. And here is our bridge. This bridge is huge and wide. And just look at the view that you have out of this. You have plenty of room to look around and see. It's very wide, it's very open. I love this bridge. From here, we're gonna go right out and go into our main area. And here's the battle stations. This is our battle stations. This gives us plenty of crew spots. We have some lockers over here if we wanna store stuff in lockers. And we have plenty of crew spots. We're going to go right out to the left or through this door. And this comes into our command center. This gives us some more storage options and some more crew points. From there, we go right into our captain's quarters. And here's our captain's quarters. I love this captain's quarters. It's it's kind of nice. Uh, the bed's decent. We got a desk. We got everything. There's the major. Hi, major. And uh, we can go right out the back of the captain's quarters into our workshop. So if we need to craft anything, we have all the tables we need and some storage in here as well. Now next to it, these are our small little storage tabs. These really aren't used, but they're nice there to look at. You know, if you want to role play some extra storage there. We come out of our captain's quarters. We're into one of our living quarters. This is one of the crew living quarters. This is also where our dock, our docking bay for the ship is. So it's right here. It's probably our only ladder, though it's not really a functional ladder. Come out of here to some living quarters for the crew. More beds, bathroom for them, some storage for them. Behind there, we have our computer core. I just like the look of the computer core. It does give us a couple storage options. You can see there is some storage in there. And then another side storage. So that's the ship. Everything is on one level. It may seem a little confusing to get around, but it is pretty easy. And again, you can change these tabs to anything you want. If you want to change it up and rearrange them in a different order, that's fine. And that's it for our build video. Thank you for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed the Starship build, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. And click the bell icon to be notified when I put out more Starship builds. I am Team Scorpio, and I will see you in the next video.